one of the founders of one of the upcoming startups in India that works around conversational AI. What we do is we enable users to talk to their data. Yes, like you talk to a chatbot or like you talk to a voice assistant. You must have heard about a lot of chatbots that are being used in banking applications and AI assistants that your banking service must be offering you or you must have tried Alexa or Google Home or Siri on your own phones and devices, right? Well, these all fall under the category of conversational AI. It is also sometimes called voice AI. Conversational AI doesn't only speak about natural language processing, but also smaller pieces of technology that helps machine talk to human, that helps machine understand the intention, the language, and how to respond to it. If you had early access to any of the devices that gave you AI assistant like uh, an iPhone that had Siri, a uh, Google Home device that you could talk to, you must have realized that they were really frustrating to actually have a conversation with. I remember this one time my dad was actually yelling at the Siri device, trying to make it understand that this is the song, a Hindi Kishore Kumar song that he wants to listen to. But he finally gave up after 11 tries. And I could see him and I understood his frustration and I realized that I really can't help him. So, you know, maybe I should stay out of it. But then um, in past five years, in past um, a decade, in fact, the devices and how the natural lung. But in last five years, these technologies have advanced tremendously. Today, when you speak to your device, it talks back to you. It tries to have a conversation, which it did not back in the day, right? So now when you are looking at your banking application and thinking why it is so limiting, why am I being just able to pick some keywords and that is all it is going to tell me, that is where certain kind of chatbots, which are not that advanced, they come in picture. Now, conversational AI means that human is being able to actually have a conversation with the machine. But it is not that simple. Human conversations are complex, they are emotional, they have context. But for a machine to understand that, it's gonna be a big leap. And today where we are at, and the reason why technology today seems much more palatable than those days is because the accessibility of AI to masses. That means uh, you are being able to that means that you are seeing different applications of AI in your daily roles and the work that you are doing or maybe games that you are playing. So AI is machine's ability to learn and act as a human. That is artificial intelligence, which tries to recreate how human think, how human react and how human takes an action. Now, there are multiple ways it can mimic human. They can be sensory, they can be visual, they can be uh, speech-wise, and they can be action-wise, right? So when it comes to conversational AI, it takes a piece of the speech part, where it understands, where it uh, processes, where it generates natural language to be able to create some kind of human form of language, because we can't all code, right? The languages that computer used to talk to each other is code. The language of human used to talk to computer used to be codes. But today, machines are evolving to use our language, our uh, language uh, which we use in daily life with our family, with our people in our office, vernacular language. and vernacular languages that are being spoken in region. Now that become a part of conversational AI because a certain set of technologies are coming together. Something like automatic speech recognition, natural language processing, dialogue management, dynamic intent engine, that's something we have patented on, and machine learning, which tries to learn by every conversation that it's having. Applied conversational AI needs science and arts both. Applied conversational AI requires both science and arts because it's trying to recreate a scenario within which the dialogue has to happen. It needs personalization, relevance, and context between human and computer interaction. And now there is a new discipline called conversational design, which is dedicated to create conversation within machines which sounds more natural in human interaction and do not seem like uh, preset, pre-recognized uh, way of answering the questions, which you might have seen in a lot of FAQ interactions you have with 
a website or a machine or a lot of banking chatbots for example so you must be wondering why so much resources research and money is being spent on something like conversational ai well let me take you back to my story of how i came to be founder of a conversational ai startup and you know i'll let you put some of the uh, applications where all it could have replaced me or where all it could have helped in making a better experience for people i was interacting with many 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 years ago i used to be a chef it's different right it used to be a place a magical place i would say because i always had a lot of food so that was good but my responsibilities were not only cooking good food but around managing the revenue for the entire restaurant forecasting how many customers i'm going to get and what kind of ingredients i need for each and every dish on the menu and it was an extensive menu i used to forecast what events might happen in certain season and what kind of equipments what kind of staff requirement i will have and apart from that my um, key responsibility was to interact with customer and make sure that they are satisfied take their feedback and regularly keep checking on if something needs to change or modify or something their preferences are now if you look at our customers journey in a restaurant someone makes a reservation using a phone and there is a receptionist who would answer the phone and tell him about the availability so something like a google duplicate technology that you must have seen in one of the uh, keynotes actually where someone is making reservation talking to a assistant on phone something like that can help right now the customer has made a reservation and he arrives at the spot while he is being seated in a seat he can be given a menu uh, a digital menu or he can talk to a audio device could be a google home for example and ask what are the popular dish for the day and it can decide that these are the popular dish that you can pick from and seven uh, customers in last 30 minutes have ordered this right so that is somewhat a validation that they are picking the right dish then the same order can be given to me in the kitchen as a chef because you know i have to bark my orders to my staff so that they can start preparing it the same system can understand what the person wants to have if they have certain questions around that give me something which is not spicy or i am allergic to uh, seafood so google home can reply or can understand from the context that this person do not want seafood in their uh, food options right so the same information can be passed on to me so that is a meaningful conversation a conversational ai is having with a customer where it's being able to identify if the intent of the sentence where the customer says i i'm allergic to seafood that means that he do not want seafood If you look at a, ch a chatbot they usually will derive from the sentence that see they are asking for seafood because the intent and the entity is two parts that NLP looks at but when you look at a single sim um, when you look at a simple dialogue based conversation the intent is missing just the entity comes in the picture now the same uh, conversation can be created into a order and sent to the kitchen where i receive it and i bar the same order to my staff so once that's done uh, the device can alert human uh, the device can alert the customer that your food is ready and the waiter will be bringing in that in just few minutes they receive it if they have have something to say about the food they can talk to the <clears throat> Now, if they have any uh, thing to say about the food, uh, any feedback, any query, something that they did not like or something they really relished, they can simply ask the device or talk to the device about it. Now, I know you will feel that the human connection is missing over there, but if you are talking about how, what place technology can take in a mundane restaurant service, this is a part where you can imagine it is not a necessity. that human emotion and connection is required yes but if you are trying to see how able technology is this is a good scenario to sort of hypothesize right now uh, when the uh, now when customer is done i get a notification as a chef in a kitchen because 
otherwise what i usually would do go make a round of the restaurant keep asking about so how was your food ma'am how was your food ma'am how was your food right and the problem is that probably they were just talking they haven't even started eating it yet but because i'm out of the kitchen and i have 100 guests in the restaurant i'll just start doing my job by asking each one of them up but if i have a device which is by let's say by computer vision notice that plate is empty or half eaten can alert me that i can now go and check out if the customer is done if i can take their feedback on food now now look at the next part of my role the kitchen is closed everyone is gone um i am my staff is eating they are closing up the kitchen and i am looking at the inventory wouldn't it just be easier if i am able to ask um my ai assistant a conversational ai assistant that which all dishes did we serve today and how many of them did we serve and apart from that also tell me which ingredients we are running low on and how much of it was consumed today see so these four five questions is where we come in picture we as a company come in picture where we look at data and we allow user to have a conversation with that data now this i am talking about a typical kitchen scenario where everything revolves around food but same situation if you take it to a superstore for example i can ask something like how many iphones did i sell today let me just show you an example of that so now something like this can be in hands of every user where they can simply ask a question like what if the sales in categories and it simply tells me what was the sale for the category i can further dig in and ask about what was the sale of chairs in top 5 states and there it is i have a state wise answer of what was the sale i can also go ahead and ask for sales and profit both sales and profit by sub category and now i can see that the sales and uh, profit for these categories are being shown in red and blue separately that's how that's how conversational ai interacts with data that means those little small questions that you have around your business your work you should be able to simply ask instead of waiting for someone someone in technology to help you out with it's not it's not a difficult or a, a bad role or bad practice to involve your technology guys but in large companies the technology teams are very small they are very pressed for time they are very pressed for multiple reports and uh, dashboards that they need to show so how about we create a conversational way for a user which is a direct user the consumer of that particular data to be able to ask questions and have a conversation now coming back to my kitchen analogy you must have realized that there are multiple touch points where conversational ai can replace human not exactly replace human but can help human or assist human and um, if you are thinking that you know these roles will deplete because ai is taking over that is that is not still not possible and may not be possible in your lifetime actually also in the entire talk you must have noticed i talked about a new role of conversational design so those kind of new roles will keep coming where machine will need our help machine will need us to guide them to do certain things that they cannot think of doing themselves and that is one reason why um gpt3 and gpt4 and bird these technologies are 
uh, at a nascent these technologies are confined to use cases because you will not have uh, all knowing ai that will click because you cannot have an all knowing ai creating use cases on its own we work with teams of researchers and team of engineers to figure out that what will work for a particular domain for example for banking if you can forgive your chatbot that talks to you today and gives you very specific data based on keywords or ask you to pick few of the keywords that it's giving you to select if you can forgive that look past it it is on its way to becoming more smarter and have a more decent more um meaningful conversation in the sense that if you are if you are saying that this month i am unable to pay my emi what is the interest i'll have to pay is there any way i can skip that is there any uh, way my my date can be extended and your assistant will be able to answer these questions so so not only we are trying to see how this interactions can be more natural for you we are or all we are also trying to make sure that everyone who's interacting with any of the businesses they have someone to help them because we do not have that kind of bandwidth or that kind of budget to provide one assistant one human assistant to everyone and that in terms also helps a uh, business also helped employees of these businesses to cut down their hours of work and you could be one of them so a small trick that we tried to implement was that in every business there is some kind of data that needs to be assessed by certain teams to be able to take those decisions or do their daily activities make some actions right or or give it to their customers so they can make the right choices while making their banking decisions I'm talking about banking scenarios so much because that is something that has a lot of financial value. A customer every time interacting with a human or machine is trying to understand if he's not losing money, if he can get more money or if he can do certain investments which will give them good interest. To facilitate that what we did is we created a method where conversation can happen on top of data. That means there are no uh, open conversations where it is just being able to search which city you are going to go to where you can travel or not simply doing a google search for you but instead it is doing the real grunt work that you you that you do in your daily role that means uh, when you talk to our that means when you talk to us we are not only trying to understand what keywords you are using we are also trying to understand what is your intent and if that intent makes sense in context to the role or the uh, or, or the industry that you work in that means whenever you are asking what is the sales for this particular region for medicines it knows that you make four medicines and these are the four kind of regions that you have and out of that you are authorized to only check for one so that is the intent that it understood it created a dynamic um, it created a dynamic context based on your role and industry and now it is querying the database by simply creating a query a sql query which maybe you cannot create today but uh, this made the entire exercise really simple right now you are simply asking one english language question and generating a query for you it is as simple as that and you don't have and you don't even have to worry about the query when you spoke something query got generated it got to the database and you got the right answer and, and you got the right data in chart format which is easily understandable not only that it will also generate a natural language summary for you so that if data is complex you can read the summary and you can understand that this is what exactly uh, you you wanted as an answer right so that means when you are simply asking a questions you don't even have to worry about creating a query it is doing all on itself creating that talking to the database and giving you an answer in simply uh, in simple understandable format of creating a chart or by creating a small summary for you but this is not uh, but this is not all there are multiple other products that you can use or you must be using in your daily life like a caption generation in youtube or caption generation in instagram that means when you are saying something your voice is being 
interpreted in text and that is immediately available for you to see so you can also correct it and that's how the ai understands that this is what this word sounds like in your uh, diction it's, it's amazing right apart from that there is um, open ai created some of the gpt3 and gpt4 model which we briefly touched upon earlier it also opened some apis for some of the users and developers to be able to create smaller models and um, you have seen some of the examples where people are talking to create an image if you say that i want to see a turtle chair you will immediately get image of a turtle chair <laughs> which is which is green in color shaped like a turtle shell or something like that similarly there is another uh, website you can go to writers.ai where it will com complete your sentences when you are saying that i want to write about uh, red rose and ribbon it will create a paragraph for you just to complete your email or complete your story so that is the kind of um, understanding conversational ai has today that is the kind of understanding uh, it's the kind of understanding that can really give some value to some of the roles some of the work that we are doing today so one thing for you to do is you can go to these websites and check it out for yourself or you can also go to my youtube channel and check out what we are working on because we have been uh, showing it to businesses across the world and our feedback is that nothing understands me as well as you do nothing interprets the text so well as you you do and nothing creates query as quickly as you do so that means we have come to a place where uh, people are getting comfortable talking to a device just like you tried few years back but now you are shy because sometimes it won't understand your diction sometimes it will not understand your accent but you know what like the machines are also learning and so are we and human also will have to evolve to accommodate these machines in our lives because that is how the future is going to look like that is where more jobs will lie that is where more um, more efficiency in work will lie and you and I will have more time to have these chats.